Hello friends, we are back here today to discuss about one of the important organelle in our cell that is mitochondria. We have already learnt about prokaryotic, eukaryotic and the structure of nucleus. Now it's time to learn about a descriptive way about mitochondria. Mitochondria which is singularly known as mitochondrion which is unless a specifically stained and are not easily visible under microscope. In each human cell it contains on an average of 100 to 1000 mitochondrion at most that is 25 percent of the cell's volume but yes there is an exception our mature rbc doesn't contain any of the mitochondria number of mitochondria per cell is variable depending upon the physiological activity of the cell Mitochondria is an organelle which is found in the cells of the most of the eukaryotes such as plants, animals and fungi. Let's have a look about the discovery of mitochondria. Mitochondria which is generally preferred as the powerhouse of the cell was first discovered in 1857 by Albert von Kolecker and later it was coined as bioblast which we mean as life germs by Richard Altman in 1886. The organelle was then renamed mitochondria by Carl Bender after 12 years later. Let us have a look about the structure of mitochondria. It is almost like the sausage we have in the food. It is a double membrane structure which is having the four main parts. The outer membrane, inner membrane, intermembrane space and matrix. Let us have a look in details. Each mitochondrion is a double membrane bound structure with the outer membrane and inner membrane dividing its lumen indistinctly into two aqueous compartments, the outer compartment and the inner compartment. The outer membrane is permeable to certain ions and small molecules which forms a continuous limiting boundary of the organelle. The inner membrane which forms a number of folding called Christi towards the matrix. This Christi increases the surface area. It is having the respiratory chain proteins which are all present in the inner membrane. In the inner mitochondrial membrane, we are having another more structure which we say as F0F1 particle or oxisome, which is having a spherical or knob-like structure present in the inner membrane of the mitochondria. These are also called elementary particles or particles of Fernandes and Morin. These particles are responsible for catalyzing the final steps of ATP synthesis. Along with that, the intermembrane space composition is similar to that of cytosol. The matrix is the place where most of the metabolic reactions is taking place. The matrix also possesses single circular DNA molecule, a few RNA molecules, ribosomes of 70S. Now we will see about the functions of mitochondria. Mitochondria are basically the sites of aerobic respiration. They produce cellular energy in the form of ATP, hence they are known as the powerhouse of the cell. If we see in more scientific way, it is an important role in oxidative phosphorylation, which generates ATP by utilizing the energy released during the oxidation of food we eat. This ATP is used in different biochemical and physiological process, that is the different activities we perform in our life. Mitochondria is also involved in other metabolic pathways other than ATP production as like beta oxidation, Krebs cycle. In addition, mitochondria also helps in detoxifying ammonia in the liver cells. It also plays an important role in apoptosis or programmed cell death. It is also responsible for building certain parts of the blood and various hormones like testosterone or estrogen. It is also helping in the calcium homeostasis that is maintaining an adequate concentration of calcium ions within the compartments of the cells. So this is all about the structure and function of mitochondria. Thank you for watching my video. Hope you liked it. Till then, goodbye. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel before closing it.